Om Shanti. That's a new thing that I've learned over here. My name is Kushal. Uh, I'm from Pune. I got to know of this event from my wife. Uh, she's been a participant of Brahma Kumari for over five years now. Uh, she and my mother-in-law are diligently into Brahma Kumari, and they were the ones who got to me, who got me to attend this event. Uh, from a background perspective, I would say that I work with Accenture. I am an engagement manager with them. So that's my foray into consulting as well as IT. But uh, yeah, that's the long and short of how I got to know what I do. To be very honest, when I came over here, I came in with some skepticism. Skepticism because I'd heard a lot of this place. There was a hype that my uh, mother-in-law, my wife had built around it. Uh, it was all about the vibe that it had. It was all about the energy that it carries. And for me, in my head, I think just way too practically. So in my logical head, I was always under the impression that, okay, they're being probably biased. Wolo Brahma Kumari follow karte hai, iske liye wo log ek hi cheez dekh rahe hai. But that's not the scenario. Uh, something as simple as waking up for uh, Amrit Vela. A thing that I never imagined, I will be doing and I've been doing this over here very comfortably for the past two days and despite having waking up early it's not as if I feel sleepy or the need to sleep in the afternoon so definitely there is that energy the vibe in the place some of the sessions over here are brilliant uh, case in point being the Shivani DV sessions the session that we just had with BK Datta or for that matter to hear the inspiring story of uh, Dr. Gupta uh, when he started, when all of these souls started their sessions, it just fills you with so much of energy, with so much of positivity, with so much of enthusiasm that irrespective of whether you're hungry, whether you're thirsty, whether you're sleepy, you can just be rest assured that you're going to have the time of your life. So pretty much uh, enjoying everything, even the simplest of the foods. If it's simple, but it's definitely tasty, I would say. Well, one of the things that sticks with me is the the need to pause, to take control of your thoughts. So it's, it's, we think of meditation as something that's very complicated, something that is needing dedicated time, but the concept of traffic control where you're just meditating one minute every hour, that's so simple and so effective in getting back your energy and getting you refreshed. That's one thing that I'm going to take. The second thing which will be, will be around the form, uh, concept of forming small habits of uh, just be it something as simple as waking up in the morning, having a schedule, having that energy put in and translating all of that energy into the outcomes. So that's pretty much what I'm looking forward to. Thank you.